African societies have always lived in a close relationship with the world of visible powers and that of invisible powers between what is real and what is supernatural. The men that act as intermediaries between these two worlds are considered the custodians of traditions and pillars of society and therefore greatly respected. Of these, among the Malinke Bambara, people of West Africa, the confraternity of the Donzo Hunters, the guardians of animus rights, is one of the oldest traditional organizations untouched by time and still today present and recognizable in the entire Mandinga area of the cultural influence from Mali and Burkina Faso to Liberia to the Gold Coast. The word Donzo comes from the Don, to know, and so, house. It means the house of knowledge, the one who possesses knowledge. Traditional society honored them for their courage in confronting their fears of animals and for penetrating the most hostile forces. However, their basic vocation is to protect society in visible and invisible enemies. They are traditional seers and healers with the vast knowledge of medicinal plants, special fetishes. The Donzo are grouped in confraternities that are more or less secret and democratic societies since they are open to all social classes from the nobility to the low caste with members who may be important functionaries, smaller traders, smiths, or farmers. To become a Danto, it is necessary, first of all, to undergo initiation with the teacher. The candidates must accompany their request with the cola nuts and chickens. Once approved by the fetishes, the applicant must take a ritual bath that consecrates him as a Danto pupil, coming under the responsibility of the teacher to whom he owes unconditional obedience. The education received includes the technical part directly related to the knowledge of medicinal plants, but the moral and religious part is essential. Even though, on the other hand, being a Donzo confer confers on the individual great knowledge regarding many aspects of life from the art of hunting to natural medicine, cosmogony, and according to legend, the mystical powers among which is the gift of ambiguity and invulnerability to projectiles on the other. It implies respecting the moral and social code of conduct. Being a Donzo implies being an example of moral integrity, having a deep sense of humor, dignity, loyalty, and humility. The presence of this group is recorded for the first time in the late Middle Ages during the epoch of the great Mandingo Empire. According to oral tradition, the existence of its confraternities owes its origin to two mythical brothers, Sanin and Kuntrum. The legend states that, driven by thirst among the ruins of the Ghana Empire, two young hunters killed a newborn child to gain possession of the water of its mother. Punished by God with death, they were resurrected, and having repent, they swore to pure and chaste. As the ancestors of the hunters with great knowledge of the secrets of the forest, Sanin and Kuntrum belong to no particular clan and are known for their purity and chastity, from Sanaya the uh, purity of gold. The head of each confraternity is a teacher. It is he who minds the altar on which ritual sacrifices are offered to protection and successful hunt. He also administers the hunting territory of the gods and fetish. The Dons are easily known by their clothing. They wear a dark brown tunic with leather fringes and decorated with geometrical signs and amulets with a round and stiff hat made of large woven threads and decorated with mirrors and pom-poms hunting trophies, warthog teeth, lion claws, and gazelle horns. He will always have a rifle on his shoulder and a fly whisk of a cow or horse hair in his hand. The present evolution of their environment is closely bound upon the social economic changes in contemporary society. Regional conflicts and migrations help to create local tensions also due to ignorance of local traditions and customs. Urbanization or deforestation have reduced the great hunting grounds causing the hunt to become today a mostly religious activity for the protection of the environment rather than an economic pursuit. The Donzo confraternities have survived the slave trade, the influence of Islam and colonization. Today enjoy enormous prestige in Malinke society, especially in the rural context. All over the Sahil, it is possible to see the meeting, parade songs and dances of the Donzo during somewhat ostentatious cults and rituals. 
They are a very important element of contemporary identity of West Africa, and there are many Africans who see them the guardians of ancient mystical knowledge according to an uninterrupted centuries-long tradition.